you, you clearly have an interest in these historical true life stories. Oh, when yeah. you're working on a film like um, Gallipoli, yeah, you know, which is a historical sure, epic. Sure. You know, did you have a particular fondness for those kinds of stories when you were oh, working yeah. on them? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's just a natural thing. As I say, I mean, I honestly say I worked as hard on, the, on every picture. It didn't matter. It didn't matter who the director was, producer was. I worked as, to make the soundtrack as good as I possibly could. But some of them you really like. And Gallipoli, I really did like. I thought it was terrific. It's one of your favourite films that you've done? It's the favourite. The favourite? It is, yeah. Um, a lot. Of, I liked a lot of movies. So I, I like I like Sunday Too Far Away and those sort of things. And the Picture Show Man. I liked that. It wasn't a great film, but it's a fantastic story. And and, and that that's era is history. fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. That's that's part of history. Absolutely. I mean, I wrote. I've just written a book, which I'm and I saw published. I can't get it published. And it's about a racehorse and a boxer. And it's true again. It's biographical. But I, I've re researching it. I found that the town that the that the little that the mayor was born in uh, was bred in uh, had a, a travelling picture show man until 1936, and then the other and then they made it uh, like a permanent picture show. Mm. But that's not a, that's my birth year. It's not that long ago to me. It's travelling picture show man like a black with his horse and cart, you know, his buggy and oh, I remember John Millian. He was wonderful in that film, actually. Oh, yeah. he was. John Millian was a sensational actor and a funny guy. He, he was, you know, on the booze a lot, especially towards the end. I, I remixed a picture called The Fourth Wish, which was made in South Australia. Film. Yeah. Beautiful film, wasn't it? And John Millian was in that, of course. He was the father of this boy who was dying of leukaemia. And there was some dialogue in that that was so bad, it just had to be re-recorded. And the guy mixed it in South Australia to cause a big stir because he got very angry when I remixed it and he went to Parliament and all sorts of things that said, said it was anti whatever, you know, anyway. But I remixed the picture. And I said to, the, to John Morris, who was the, the boss there at the um, uh, SAFC, I said, mate, there's one scene that's got to be re-recorded. Re, uh, and he said, oh, I said, John doesn't like re-recording. I said, well, it doesn't matter. I'll talk to him. I'll get it done. Don't worry. So I rang John Millian, and he was in the um, he was in the uh, yacht club where he virtually lived at Mossman. Yes, I said Peter Fenton here. Who's that? He said. <laughs> I said, and he, I, I mean, I re recorded the bug at four hundred times, and, and I actually even recorded him in a radio. He's in radio series when I worked in radio. Anyway, I said we've got to re-record this thing. Who said? And I said, uh, mate, it's got to be better. No, no, he said you can't have that authority. He said, oh. I said, no, John Morris is there. So well, he hasn't told me anything. Anyway. So anyway, eventually it was worked out that we would re-record this scene. Now, John Millian has a, a sense of rhythm that's not a sense of rhythm. John Millian talks in fits and starts, which is one of his, if you w listen to him, it's one of his great you know, differences. Mm. Like John Millian said here, um, why don't we uh, get a couple of beers and then we'll, then we'll do so and so. It's never the and same way it, twice. <laughs> exactly, which is why he hated doing the di posting dialogue. So he said, I know good at that. I said, John, I'm telling you, I can get you to do it in a way you haven't done it before. It will be, it'll sound perfect. All oh, right, mate. I said, we're going to do, you're going to listen to it and then say it. That's how I approach this exactly, yes. Rather than, you can't do it at the same time. You can't, you can't pause for, you know, 23 frames and start in the right place, you know. But that's how we did it. And, and I'd say, mate, we'll play the line three times to you. Right, uh, right, right, son, let's go and we'll get ourselves a hot dog. Right, son, let's, uh, we'll go and get ourselves a hot dog. So you're not right. recording in sync, you're just recording no. it and adding it later? Absolutely. Right. I, I made a loop and then a loop the same size. I said, John, it'll go, right, son, let's go and get ourselves a hot dog. And you'll hear a click, you say it again. And, and, and that's it. And I thought, I'll also get him sober. So I said, mate, we're really booked out in the studio. It's so hard. We've got to do it at 8 o'clock in the morning. I'll be right, he said. I said, we've got 8 till 11 or something, which wasn't true, but I thought he's going to be sober. He arrived in a cab. He'd already drunk three of the six, <laughs> three of the, three of the six VBs he had in his hand. He said, I told the driver it was a four-can trip. <laughs>